What's going on guys? We're going to be doing the next episode of the Operator Review Series and we're going to be doing Sledge. I've been playing loads of him lately and I think I have a pretty good idea of exactly how you should use him. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and get right into the video. Alright guys, real quick before we get started, I just wanted to point out that his birthday is April 2nd, 1982 which is the same birthday as Blitz, maybe not the year, but the same date, and that's actually my birthday, and I just, I thought that was really cool, because both Sledge and Blitz, I fucking love them, and play them all the time, and the fact that they share my birthday is kind of cool, but anyway, let's get into the, the facts about Sledge, he is a two-speed, two-armor operator, and his ability is the, um, breaching hammer, which is called Journey's End when you have the Legendary skin, or the Elite skin, which is really cool. Anyway, his guns are the M590A1, and the L85A2 is his primary. And with these, it kind of depends. I like to run a little bit of both. It's kind of just personal preference on those. And then for secondaries, it's the SMG11 and the P226. I'm always going to recommend the SMG-11 because it's basically a second secondary, or a second primary, so I'd never run the P226, always run the SMG. And then between gadgets, you have a choice between frags and stuns. I use the stuns on hostage most of the time and use the frags the rest of the time, but it's all up to you, it's personal preference. As Sledge, you're always going to be wanting to get above the objective and using your ability as much as possible. How I use his ability is I always get above the objective and hit on the floor above it, making little holes all over the place above so that the defending team doesn't have any safe place to go from your gunfire. You'll see in this clip here in a minute, I get above the objective and start hammering the floor below. But as always, before you do that, you do want to check your corners, make sure everything's clear. But as you can see, I'm starting to bust the floor below me to see if I can see any enemies underneath. I'm checking all the corners of the objective room just to see if I can find anybody, because if you're doing this as Sledge, then you're giving the enemy team nowhere to hide. You're checking all the corners, the normal places for people with shields and stuff to set up. And just doing this is going to make it really hard for the defending team to continue defending the location, especially if the entire ceiling has been destroyed. Again, you always want to be checking your corners, and this just shows how strong the SMG-11 can be. As you can see right here, he has no idea that the entire ceiling is open up, because most people actually don't check for it when you're doing it. But you just continue doing this, it's going to make it much easier for your team to be able to win the round. Also, don't forget that your sledgehammer can kill people, and it can make for some funny and humiliating moments for the enemy team, and I do it a lot now just because it's really satisfying when it happens. I'm also going to recommend on small maps like Favela, you use the shotgun. Because if you practice with the SMG-11 enough, you can treat it like a primary. And having a shotgun on Favela is just usually better just because it's always going to be normally close range engagements. Another thing I want to point out is don't forget to use your frag grenades. If you have a pretty good idea of where the enemy team is, frag grenades can be pretty lethal. As shown here. When it comes to Sledge, there's really not much to him. What I've talked about is basically all I can really tell you. Sledge is a very simple operator when it comes to his gadget, and that's what makes him a fan favorite among newer players. But that's not a bad thing. I actually recommend Sledge to newer players all the time, because you just don't really have to worry about much. You do what you're supposed to, which is get in, hammer some walls, open up some pathways for your team, 
and then as long as newer players know that they need to get on top of the objective and open down holes down into the objective then they'll do sledge really well where sledge is mostly strong at is his killing potential all of his guns are extremely lethal and if you get used to using the LA-5A2 and the SMG-11 and his shotgun you can do a load of damage and usually be a top fragger on your team and that's why I always recommend sledge for people who are really good with aim because all of his guns are powerhouses in siege right now and I believe that they'll stay that way now we get into his review for newer players and experienced players. For new players, I give Sledge a 10 out of 10. You probably always want to start with Sledge just because of how good he is. And he's very simple. Just use your hammer. That's about it. The hammer has a ton of uses so you don't really worry about it breaking unless you're just hammering the living heck out of the objective, which if you've got that many holes then you're doing a great job. For pro players, I give him a 10 out of 10 as well. There's a reason why he's basically a staple in every pro match. He's just extremely good and his killing potential is incredible. The SMG-11 is a powerhouse which is able to just decimate other teams. And its ability to land headshots is incredible as long as you're extremely accurate with it. This is going to be a kind of short operator review because it will, there's just not much to him. I've pretty much covered everything there really is to him. If you think I missed anything, please let me know and I'll try to fix it. But other than that, that's going to be it. Um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. This is Lieutenant Colonel Air, signing off.